What do you think, huh? Gorgeous? I know you said house, not townhouse, and West Palm, not Boca, and it's more than you can afford twice as much. But you know what? Details, details. This house screams, the two of you. Look at it. Dream house. I mean, look at this place. And before you even ask, they're willing to sell it furnished, as is every drop of it. You into feng shui, Jenny? Because this place is feng shui to the nines. It reeks, reeks of serenity. Golf, Johnny? Not so much. Well, you will be, honey. When you see this view of the eighth hole, it's magnificent. And to me, the eighth hole is the prettiest hole on this course. I myself even birdied it once. Hard to believe, but true. <laughs> now, I'll admit this media room is a little small. But you know what? You paint a Barney on the wall, and you have a great playroom. I have a guy who does kids' murals. You guys are going to have kids, right? Uh, yes. No, yeah, of yeah. course you are. You're gorgeous. You can have beautiful babies. Okay, now this is the piece de resistance. My favorite room in the house, the kitchen. Is this gorgeous? Oh, I wish I could live my whole life in here. It's perfection, and it should be. Mrs. Williamson had it redone four times now. Just like my boobs. You thought they were real, didn't you? Does this place feel like where you start a life? It was like we end the end one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, how does that lady look at that house and think us? Honey, I don't know. You don't want to see the eighth hole out of your window? Or, or have an extremely small media room? Here's what I want. What? I want a little cottage with a white picket fence and a rolling green lawn. Oh, I love it. Keep going. And maybe a couple trees, hammocks. Hammocks. Just litter for hammocks. Green lawn. I like that. Keep going. I'm, I'm with you. Step up, sorry. Sorry about the mess okay. and the noise and the smell. <laughs> What's happening? Come on. Can I look? No, no, just almost, almost. Okay, okay. Ready? Really? One, two, three, go. Happy birthday. What? God, they're adorable. <laughs> oh my, my birthday's not for a month. That's okay. Hi. They can't leave for three weeks anyway. Come on, we didn't discuss this. I know, but it's a surprise. You can't. Hi, guys. Girls are 300. Boys are 275. Except for that little guy there. Him you could have for 200 even. This one? Oh, you're so sweet. It's a clearance puppy. Yeah. Oh, oh I give them all away. But well, we got 65 dogs out back, and the expenses add up. Nice shoe. I think there's a little connection there. Oh, are you sure we're ready for this? Well, like I told you, you gotta wait three weeks for them to be weaned before you can bring them home. I'm not even gonna be here. Why? I'll be in Gainesville covering that trial. Oh, that's right. Well, that's okay. It'll give me a chance to bond with them and get a head start on training them, that's get them true. squared away before you get home. That's true. How do we pick one? Well, you gotta give them the scare test. The what? I was reading that the pick of the litter, the best puppy, is the one that doesn't spook easily. You know, it means that they're more people-centered. How are you going to do that? Boo! Well, that's your guy. Clearance puppy. Oh, I would have picked you anyway. There you go. Bigger, didn't they? This is the right one, right? You should see him pack away the puppy chow. If I have any problems... You're not gonna have any problems. Not all adoptions work out, of course, but I sure hate to see him back here, and I tell that to everyone, not just you. You want help getting them into the car? I got it. Let me just put them here. There we go. Get this. Well, thank you. I think this... Thank you.
this is our house. And now it's yours. You got half a seatbelt in the car. Huh. How are you still eating? Put it. You're still going? Oh, these. Molly, Molly, no, 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 no! Okay, now you can go. Go on, now you can go. Tomorrow, this is what we're trying to get you to, where it's like the yard. Just think of this as a toilet. Come on, Marley, do your thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one time. See? Nothing to it, except you guys lift your leg, you just go like that. You could do it like that. You just probably don't want to do it in front of the other boy dogs. You're getting there. Morning, John. Hey, Steve. I... <laughs> Showing the puppy here, trying to... Have a good one. You too. Good day. Marley. I like it. You like it? We could do something different. No, 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 it's good. <laughs> Oh, oh, he sounds so sweet. He's very cute. He's just like a little kid, except, you know, furrier. Oh, put, put the phone to his ear. Hold on. He seems to have caught a second wind and jumped off the couch. Here we go. Marley. What a good boy. What a good boy. He's my good boy. I cannot wait to meet you, Marley. Mama can't wait to meet okay. you. Okay. And. So he's doing great. You don't have to worry about a thing. He's very comfortable here. It's like he's been here his whole life. All right, well, listen, I'm going to see both of you on Friday. OK? I love you. I love you, too. dog's funny. Funny? Uh-oh. He tried to eat one of our tires? Well, actually, rubber is good for a dog. It's a little-known fact. Helps with their digestive tract. Right. Along with the occasional black Converse high top, which I'd still love to get back, by the way. Left or right, because we got a pretty big collection. Bet you do. <laughs> when are you going to do something about that barking? Soon. Soon, I hope. Sorry. My name's John, by the way. Yeah, I know. I get your mail. Immune to the old Grove and Shaw. They are out there. Right from the beginning, she had me in her sights. I know, she really did. Marley wouldn't take any of her crap. That's why I got kicked out. You're now the world's worst dog. You've been kicked out of obedience school. You know, there is something else that we could do. No, I know. We just, we get an... No, 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 no. I'm smiling, but I'm serious, no. Painless. Painless? Painless. And it will make him much more comfortable. Comfortable? W when is the last time someone tried to chop off your nuts, honey? It'll calm him down. Well, of course it'll calm him down. It just takes away, like, you might as well give him a lobotomy while we're at it. Then he'll have nothing to look forward to. Mm -mm. Do you know that all the books say that he'll actually live longer? No, I just, I, it'll feel longer. John, it's the right thing to do. He's out of control. You know it and I know it. Now that gator knows it. I'll make the appointment. I tried. But I mean, what can I do with the smoking gun? Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Thanks for How's it going? Saying, it's going good, thank That's you. Good. Yeah, I appreciate you guys sitting down to talk with me. My pleasure. Do you mind if I turn this on? Please do. <laughs> How did y'all meet? Oh boy, that story's been told quite a few times. Uh, actually, our first kiss, July 4th, 76. It's a long your time first ago. 76. So we've been married, it'll be 30 years in September. And uh, I was right out of high school, and he he had a band, a very famous band, Miami Latin Boys at the time. And I joined it for fun. It was just a fun gig, a hobby. It was going to be almost 30 years. He was the boss man. And, and you guys, you, you didn't play bar mitzvah. Oh, yeah. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, quinces, like coming out parties. Really? And uh, it was fun. It was just a fun thing. I had a, a day job. I was going to school full time. I was studying psych psychology and communications. And, uh, he I had his own business. For you. <laughs> 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 Actually, it helps me handle him a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> that exactly. It must be fun working together, but I'm sure sometimes, like any you know, working relationship, it sometimes gets a little tricky. It's always happened. It's always happened. But so the only in order to be 30 years and you know married, you have to always say yes. <laughs> At the end, you have to say yes. You know, that's the only way it's going to work out. That's the secret. <laughs> well, you have to know where the manager stops and the husband comes in. Sometimes you want the manager to leave quickly. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to do this. Can I take my wife? Of and course. Just, uh, the big way. Sure. I promised her that I would. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Song's actually for a Catholic birth control theme, don't you? It is. <laughs> I did not know that. The rhythm is going to get you. <laughs> the rhythm. Getting, uh, okay. I should have figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't didn't worry. Stick with Congo. Congo. Emilio. Okay. I can't even do this. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Okay. No. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. I didn't even take a picture. No. Okay. Well, we'll if, 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 well you, didn't you finish. Camera? You tell uh, me if it's okay. I'll be over okay. here. Okay. <laughs> Very sweet, your wife. It's beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful you should have let her stay. Well, I, I think she would have benefited. It's nice. <laughs> she would have benefited from the... Uh, it was so sweet of you guys. It's our pleasure. Yeah. She was shy. Yeah, she was like, you could tell. Yeah. Very yeah. shy. Yeah. You've been married for a long time? We have been married. Um, at this point in the movie, I'm not sure. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> you caught me with that question. Uh, well, actually, if my hair is like this. Uh, <laughs> Baby thing, I've been thinking maybe we should take a break. You know, I mean, obviously it's not working, and maybe it's nature's way of saying now's not the right timing. I mean, maybe it's a sign that we're not quite ready for this. That, I mean, have we really thought this? John, I'm pregnant. Great. Mm -hmm. Wow, great, really? Yeah. Yes. You were, what did, you were just saying? No, don't worry. That was like it sounds so awkward now. That like I just had this like very, you know, idiotic soliloquy that doesn't apply, and I'm really excited. Do you want to start over? I would love to. That would be great. Can we? By all means. Good. I'm pregnant. What? No! Yes! <laughs> what a shock! Wait a minute. 
What? What was that? Nothing. Honey, Forget what was about that? it. This no, was no, the no. real me. That was my real reaction. Baby, come on. You're scared. No, no, I'm not scared. And I would say if I was, okay? I mean, I'm a little bit scared, but, you know, I think that's, you know, natural. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm terrified. Honey, feel my heart. Well, your heart's racing. I know. Well, then why are you making me feel like a jerk? You're scared also. I'm and not, I... I think these are getting bigger. Are they already be getting bigger? It doesn't happen that fast. You know it? we'll be okay. Yeah, I know. Do you really look good? Yes, me? yes, I do. We will be okay. I believe you. Nope, not yet. Dr. J's gonna send over a laxative. Yay. You hear that? Baby C10. How are you doing? I'm great. Okay. I thought I was going to be one of those new dads who's freaking out, but I'm not. No, not you. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Start driving around. I need the keys. Honey, that's Marley. Marley, come here. Where were you? Where was he? We found him outside of a shell station on Dixie Highway. He had the guy cornered in the men's room. So Marley caught the guy? No, I caught the guy, but he helped. He also gnawed the barrel of my shotgun and ate my radio mic. Thanks for bringing him back. It's your thing. Thank you. Hell of a dog. Thank you. Oh, Marley. Good dog. Baby.
That goes I put right this in the van? No, no, that goes in the truck. Okay. Thank you, but honey, can you take him? I, I got to pack up the bathroom. Yes, I got it. All right? Yeah, you see how much I'm getting into my boxes? No, you really are. Hey. Hey. You're leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't blame you. I just thought I'd come over and say goodbye. Oh, thank you. Really? Come here, I'm gonna miss you. Where are you moving to? We're going to Boca. Boca? Hmm. Huh. What does that mean? Nothing. I just, I never pictured, you know, a guy like you moving to Boca. Guy like me? <laughs> yeah. You know, young, cool, whatever. Young and cool. You're not just saying that because I saved your life. Actually, a cute paramedic named Josh saved my life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I'll have to chew up the other one so it matches. Yeah, it's more punk rock. <laughs> Woo! <Hey. laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have fun down there. All right. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye, Lisa. Oh, say goodbye to your mother. I know she's going to miss us. Deciding. Okay. Thank you. Mommy, Daddy. Okay. I'm fine. Hey, Grogan, that's for writing a column on my wife. She's been crying for two days. Okay, I didn't write about your wife. Cancel my subscription. Wait till you see the column I write about you. You wing nut. Hey, John. Settling in okay? Yeah, good. Thanks, Gil. Good. Say hello to Billy Cole. Hey. How you doing? Billy's gonna show you the ropes. Yeah. You're the Florida guy, right? The uh, dog columns. Yes. Well, so, some of them were not. Good stuff. Oh. Come on, I'll show you around. Okay.
Hello? Yes. I can't get him to come back inside. He's just laying out there in the cold, and he won't move. Okay. Okay, I will. this spot, huh? <sighs> Me too.